Hello, it is day nine of our 12 days of crochetmas and we are in the home stretch. So let's open box nine and see what we're making today. Long boy. So make sure you watch the end of the video to get a hint as to what we're making tomorrow. But the hint for today was that his name is probably Bruce. So let's see how many of you got it right. And it is, ironically, a tiny great white shark. Dan right, let's get into it. Remember to post photos of your finished creatures to the Complicated Knots Discord or on Instagram using the tag hashtag 12 days of crochet to be in with the chance to receive a digital copy of all 12 patterns. Okay, so to make our shark today, you're going to need eight ply 100% acrylic yarn in one main color, as well as a small amount of white and a needle in order to add his finishing details. You're also going to need a pair of nine millimeter safety eyes, your 3.5 millimeter hook, scissors, and some stuffing. So to start our shark, we grab a strand of our shark color and we make a magic ring of six. Just like that. We're then gonna work the next three rows to get our stitch count up to 15. So here we are at the end of row four and we should have 15 stitches around in a vaguely triangular shape. So row five starts with seven single crochet around. And then we're going to work a single crochet three together. So that's just an extended decrease and I use the invisible variant of it. So that means that I slip my hook under the front loops only of the next three stitches, yarn over and pull up a loop through all three and then yarn over and complete our decrease. So there's one and then we're going to do another one straight away. And then just two single crochet to finish our round. For row six, we once again start with seven single crochet, which will bring us around to where we did those decreases in the last round. And then in each of those, we're going to put three single crochet. We are then going to once again, finish our round with two single crochet. So that is the start of his little mouth. For row seven, we have three repeats of two single crochet an increase, and then two single crochet. So that's my first repeat, and then I'm going to work it twice more. Now at this point, we're gonna pop our eyes in. So you should easily be able to identify the corners of your mouth, and we're going to count back to row five. So one, two, three, four, five, and then pop our eyes in so they're at the corners of your mouth. So there are his eyes. The next five rows are like the fever dream of a madman, but they all come together magically at the end. So I'm just gonna ask you to trust the process. So row eight starts with three single crochet. Then we're going to put three single crochet all into the same stitch. Now those three stitches are going to become his main dorsal fin. Then we're going to work four single crochet. Then work three single crochet into the next stitch. And that's going to become one of his, I think they're pectoral fins. Am I making that up? Is that a thing? Then seven single crochet under his chin. Then three single crochet into the next stitch. That will be his second, I'm going to call them side fins because I don't want to say pectoral fin again if it's wrong. And then one single crochet to finish the round. So it's still looking relatively normal, but just wait. <laughs> So row nine is very similar to row eight. So it's once again, three single crochet. Then it's an increase, three single crochet into the same stitch. Then an increase, four single crochet down his side. An increase three single crochet into the same stitch and then an increase seven single crochet across his stomach an increase three single crochet into the same stitch and then an increase then we finish off the row with a single crochet. So at the end of row nine, you should have 36 stitches in your round and you should be questioning my sanity a little bit. That's all normal. 
So in row 10, you're going to start to see the magic happen. So we start fairly normally. We start with three single crochet and then an increase, two single crochet, and then three single crochet all into the same stitch, two single crochet down the side, then an increase. Then we're going to work four single crochet. Okay, so we're going to form his fin now. So what we want to do is skip the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're skipping seven. So we're stitching into the eighth stitch. Make sure that you're still inserting your hook from the outside of your piece and work a single crochet. We're then going to work six more single crochet across his tummy. Like so. And we're going to do the same thing here. So skip the next seven stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and put a single crochet into that eighth, which finishes the round. Aha, see? Okay, I hate that eye positioning. I'm gonna pop my eyes out and adjust them slightly. Be right back. So at this point I can tell I'm not really happy with the positioning of my eyes. So I'm just going to pop them out and reposition them. I'm still in row five, but I'm just gonna make sure that they are straight with the rest of the shark, like so. So this time, now that I'm happy with them and I can be sure that there, there's not going to be too much more twist, I'm going to snap my backs on. So there he is, looking really happy to see us. So now we're going to head into row 11, which starts with just three single crochet. So we're then going to work 11 half double crochet across the top of the dorsal fin. So to half double crochet, you yarn over your hook once, insert through the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. So you've got three loops on your hook, and you just yarn over and pull through all three to finish the stitch. So that's our first one, and then we're going to work 10 more. We then finish the round by working 12 single crochet back to our starting point. Like so. So in row 12, we're finally going to finish off this major fin. So we start by working three single crochet. Then we're going to skip 11 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And so there is our 12th stitch and that's the one we're going to work into. So work a single crochet to lock that in. And then we're going to work 11 single crochet back around to our start. Now you may need to like squidge this a little bit to get those edges to line up. But when they do, there is your fin. Look at that, perfectly formed fins. So you can now go ahead and work up the next four rows. So there we are at the end of row 16. And I hope you enjoyed making his little like back of tail fin unsupervised. I figured after we'd done three, you, you, you were able to manage this one by yourself. But leave me a comment if you couldn't and I will help. So at this point, we are just going to stuff our shark but we're going to stuff him very carefully so we just want to be careful not to get any stuffing into his fins a little stuffed sushi roll <laughs> sorry this is the eighth one of these that i've recorded today i can feel myself getting a little bit loopy so that's why the tone might be slightly different in this one to the others so with that done we are going to carry on and work row 17 which is five single crochet And then a decrease and then a single crochet then row 18 which is five single crochet and then a decrease row 19 which is just six single crochet around now if you need to at this point you can stuff a little bit more stuffing in but stuff now or forever hold your piece So with that, all we have left to do is make his tail. So if you look straight down at your piece, there should be six stitches remaining in this tail and there should be a clear top and bottom stitch and then two on either side. So we're going to start by building out the bottom fin and we're going to do that by all in the same stitch, putting a double crochet, a very tight chain two, and then another double crochet. So that will make sense in a moment. We're then going to work two single crochet 
up the side of the tail, bringing us to that top stitch. So in this top stitch, once again, all in the same stitch, we are going to work a single crochet, a half double crochet, a double crochet, a tight chain two, then a double crochet, a half double crochet, and a single crochet. So that's a lot to pack into one little stitch, but it's all going to fit. We're then going to work two single crochet down the other side. So this might look like a weird little like elephant nose or sucker. You're just going to grab at the top and the bottom and squeeze it together and that forms your tail. So to finish this off, we're going to skip our two double crochets and slip stitch into the next single crochet and finish off. So we're going to tuck that end away inside and we have just a little bit of sewing to do to finalize our shark. So first things first, I'm going to grab my white and we're just going to stitch on some whites of his eyes like we've done for the others because it makes them super cute. And at the same time, you can stitch on a little zigzag to form his teeth as well, just into that mouth opening that we made. So then we're going to thread our needle with a little bit of the blue that we're using. So if you're using a different color, you can use that. And we're just going to go around each of the fins and the tail and just sew the two sides together so that they're not open anymore. If you don't have a needle handy, you could even probably use your hook to just thread a piece of yarn up and back, kind of like lacing a corset. That's the main fin done, and we're going to do the same thing for each of the side fins and the tail. And once again, tuck in any ends. And there is your great white. So that's it for today. I hope you had fun making him with me. So your hint for day 10 is, this animal runs on its hind legs to get a burst of speed. So leave your guesses in the comments down below. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Dun -dun 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 -dun